There are around 640 muscles found all over our body, ranging in size from the tiny ones which open and close the pupils in our eyes, right through to the large ones found in our legs that keep us moving. The terms myo and sarco are commonly used prefixes that we use when we're talking about muscle features. Features such as myosin or sarcoplasm. And as sarco suggests, this actually means flesh and muscles essentially make up all the fleshy parts of our bodies. No matter what their size or their location, all muscle tissue must have four key properties in order to work in a healthy manner. Firstly, they have to be able to be excited. This means they have to be able to respond to a stimulus, something like a nerve impulse. They also have to be able to contract. This means they actually shorten in length. And this feature is only seen in muscle tissue in our body. As well as that, they have to be able to extend, which means that when they're subject to a force, they're able to lengthen. And lastly, but just as importantly, muscle tissue must be elastic. This means they have to be able to return to their original size and shape after they've finished their work. All muscle tissue is comprised of muscle cells. Now these cells can have one or sometimes several nuclei. They're surrounded by sarcoplasm, which is the muscular form of cytoplasm. Just like all the other cells in our body, muscle cells also have a plasma membrane, which is known as the sarcolemma. That prefix sarco keeps coming up, and we already know that this means it's related to muscles. Within the sarcoplasm, there are many of the organelles that we've already heard Mario talk about in week one. Organelles like mitochondria, the Golgi apparatus, and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. However, the majority of the sarcoplasm in a muscle cell contains ribbon-shaped organelles called myofibrils. These are sort of like long trains of tiny contractile units called sarcomeres. There's that sarco prefix again. And on this image here, we can see those units called sarcomeres all lined up together in a linear pattern to make the myofibril. Sarcomeres can be considered to be the basic contractile unit of any muscle. And they're mainly made up of different protein fibres called myofilaments. The two predominant proteins are actin and myosin. If you look at this image here, you'll see the actin shaded red are the thin filaments, while the thicker ones are the myosin. These overlapping proteins form the sarcomere, which in turn, as we know, when they're chained end on end, make up the entire myofibril, which is found in the sarcoplasm of all muscle cells. So muscles contract when the thin actin and the thick myosin filaments slide past each other. So you can say that this is the focal point of any muscle cell's action. It's the arrangement of these myofilaments, remember that's actin and myosin, that have a big influence on the way that the muscle tissue appears under a microscope and also its function. Now remember we've got three different types of muscle tissue in our body, skeletal, smooth and cardiac. So let's just have another look at these again. Skeletal muscles connect to bone and move our skeleton. They're easy to see moving under our skin. In fact, the word muscle comes from the Latin term mus, which means little mouse. Apparently, early scientists thought that the muscles they could see looked like mice scurrying under people's skin. The second type of muscle tissue is smooth muscle. This is found in the walls of a lot of our internal organs like our stomach and our bladder. They're also involved in movement, but in a different way. Smooth muscles move things like food and urine through the internal parts of our body. So whilst this is movement, it's not as obvious as walking, but still just as important. 
cardiac muscle is the third type of muscle tissue we find in our bodies. As its name suggests, it's found in the wall of the heart. When cardiac muscle contracts, as remember all muscle tissue does, it creates that pumping action which allows the heart to push blood in and out of the heart. So check how well you understand the characteristics of muscle tissue by completing the following knowledge test.